I have something very rare and uncommon to show you that I don't see much often. This here is a blue debug PlayStation 1 unit that can play any burn or prototype PlayStation 1 software game. And this is an official developed console model sent straight to the developers for debugging and testing games for a licensing. And this is a thought out, well designed um, blue colored um, console variant of the debug PlayStation. And it's in very good detail. Um, this is an official console from Sony, again marketed for the developers. And on the very back, there's actually a production date of April 12th, 1999. I'm not sure what that means too much. But on the back, we can also see it is a debugging station by Sony Computer Entertainment. And this is the standard NTSC, North American version of the console, used to support certain volts. All right, so inside the grill, this is what it looks like. That's much I can get it open. Uh, I'm gonna try and get this in best picture, but this is basically what the inside of the grill looks like. There's also a um, barcode on the side here, and it's, um, if you're wondering, this can you can play this using regular PS1 cable ports and like adapters. The only thing you'll need is the actual console debugging unit to play the games. But I am a fully aware that any game you put in this console, yeah, this console right here, you can play without any consequences. Though to some extent they have to be a PlayStation 1 formatted game or otherwise they will not work or fail to load. I actually had this console fail to load on me a few times. It's common because these are debugging consoles and um, usually what will happen is I try to start up the game and it'll either go to the audio settings screen or it'll go straight and to the PlayStation logo and freeze up on me but this is just the um, NTSC North American version of the console I should inform you that of course with every um, testing stage there is multiple variants of a console so, um, of course, this is just the NTSC version of it, but there is also a PAL variant for the European regions, and it is, um, sports the same kind of coding, although it uses a different vault, but it functions more or less the same as this. They all function similarly, but have different coats. In Japan, there exists a green-ish coat of the debug PlayStation 1 that, um, is made in Japan and it's um, a green variant and also with these consoles they normally come with blue debugging PlayStation controllers to sport but they are elusively rare and uncommon to find so I couldn't get my luck on finding one I've only seen one for sale but that was a while ago I'm not sure if a green debugging controller exists but I'm sure it probably does also there is a uh, black Yowza version of the debug PlayStation 1 which is honestly my favorite it supports a, a black coating grayish coating I mean and is a lot like the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 kind of coating and looks really nice for a PlayStation 1 I must say and again, these are really rare. They can um, play any burned game or imports. All you have to do is find the game and um, find all the adapters for it. And you can basically play any game. This is a much better version of like playing any prototypes or burned games. As usually what you would have to do, usually if you had a run the mill um, retail version of a console, is you would have to find some way to make the disc spin and like on the right time there would be a glitch in the system where you could load any burn game but this is the most efficient way as all you need to do is plug it in and you can play the game of course when it doesn't work and falters I hit the reset button and it reboots the entire console and I can resume trying to playing the game and 
it took me two attempts once, but I managed to play it. You might have saw this in a previous stream I did, of course, about game prototypes. And I removed the stream of low quality because I realized it wasn't the standard of my channel. Up to the standard of my channel, sorry. But I hope this cleared up some information you may have had about the PlayStation 1 debugging unit. Of course, if I get the other units of this, I might do videos on them too. But that's all I've got for now. And I hope you found this video intuitive and informative. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks.